Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to another Avengers Log. Um, it's the holiday season once again, so uh, comic books are a bit late, so to speak, so don't have a comic review for you guys this weekend. Hopefully they'll arrive tomorrow, and possibly by Wednesday, um, Mike and I will get a, the comic review up. And uh, I highly doubt that next weekend, especially because it's Christmas, the comics are going to be delivered uh, on time. Unless by some act of God, <laughs> uh, no pun intended, uh, they'll be delivered on Christmas Eve. Uh, we won't do a Christmas uh, comic review anyway. The review will probably be on um, the 26th. Unless we get them on Saturday and maybe we'll do a Christmas Eve comic review, which would kind of be cool. A uh, nice theme for our comic review, but um, that's beyond beside the point. Now, anyway, this video is not just about comic books. I was hoping, actually, in this log to have been unboxing my comic books, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, I have a lot of things I would like to talk about, and um, very little time with this camera, only 28 minutes, so I'm going to get right into it. First off, my friend Cody Toxity has done two more chapters of um, Breaking Point and uh, chapter 2 and 3 they are amazing they're up on his Facebook I would absolutely recommend checking it out the action has definitely picked up people have died and um, a lot of great stuff's happening unfortunately I have not had the chance to read chapter 4 yet I will be reading it and I will let you guys know how I feel on that chapter chapter 2 is great one was definitely more of an intro this it's it's going on it's now you're in the middle of it, they're there, and it leaves you at a cliffhanger. Part three, same thing. More stuff happens, people die, the drama begins, the action just keeps picking up. I'm looking forward to reading chapter four, absolutely. If you guys have Facebook, I know uh, he has it on public, you guys can check it out. Also, on my profile, I have now connected my Facebook to this channel and my Twitter. So, my profile, even though it is on private settings, you have to be a friend to see certain things, uh, my notes are public to everybody. And, as a matter of fact, myself, Michael, and Cody are writing our own little story called Last of the Living. Chapter 1 is already up. We are in the middle of working on Chapter 2. Uh, unfortunately, Chapter 2 is a little late because there were delays all last week. Uh, once again, it's the holidays and a lot of other stuff going on. So, um, we didn't have exactly enough, uh, a lot of time to uh, get everything together in time. And we didn't want to half-ass the story, so we forsake posting it on time and delayed it. Uh, most likely, though, I see it being posted beginning of next week. Guys, check it out. Uh, I have a lot of my friends that I've put in it. There are a lot more characters that are going to be introduced uh, as the series goes on. No one is safe in my stories. Anyone, main or um, just introduce characters can die. You have to keep that in mind at all times because if we feel like it one day we could kill any of the main cast off and just continue on, there is no main focus on any characters for that reason. So um, just know that anyone can die at any time. Uh, story will develop. It does take place. It's a zombie apocalypse. So it takes place uh, two years after the outbreak, and now basically these survivor, these this group of people are now surviving and trying to find answers to how this happened, and if there's a way to stop it, and basically if there's a place, a safe place where they can live out the rest of their lives without having to worry about a zombie apocalypse, a zombie invasion, or, or this isn't just zombies, people. This is other stuff too. Zombies, mutants, um, everything is involved in this story. So they're looking for their safe haven, they're looking for how it happened, and they're looking for how it can be stopped, if it can be stopped. And along the way they meet other survivors. Some go with them, some don't. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, chapter 1 was more of an intro, I will warn you guys. There was action, however, it was shorter than we expected, and it, like I said, introduces the characters, introduces a new character that joins the team, and then we go into chapter 2, which we're currently doing now, and this was... Mostly Cody came up with this idea, now we're just expanding on it. Myself, I wrote the first, um, I came up with the first episode, kind of. I'm very ant when it comes to intros, but once the ball got rolling at the first page, 
Uh, the rest of the story was really good. I would absolutely say, guys, if you have the chance, uh, pop onto my Facebook. It's public. You can see it, too. Uh, we came up with covers for it and everything. We're hoping one day maybe we make a nice book out of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have a couple of really, I know uh, a couple of people have read it already and they've really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of people have been messaging me on Facebook when the next chapter's coming. I'm working on it. I promise I will get it to you guys as soon as possible. Christmas has been hell in my pockets. Uh, I was $300 short going into this month. Uh, due to the fact that I lent it to somebody, and um, that really uh, put a, a bad dent in my pocket. However, though, I did get a nice amount of things uh, for my family. Um, kind of like a Secret Santa thing, though. Nobody knows, well, Mike doesn't know what I got him, but I did get him a lot of nice uh, comic book related stuff on the down low. There's other stuff I got him too, but mostly uh, my gifts to him are comic related because uh, A, I'm glad he's into comic books again, and B, I know he's going to like these things. I'm sure he'll, he'll show it on a video on here or on his site or on Brooklyn Boys, what have you. Um, my mind has been all over the place, guys. Uh, I apologize that there were no videos from me this week. It was the holiday season, but also um, internally I'm going through a lot. Uh, you guys know what I've been going through the past two weeks. Um, it's a healing process, so to speak. And I'm doing better. I'm really feeling a lot better. Um, it's just taking me some time to get my gears moving the way they used to move. I'm working a bit slower these past two weeks than I normally have been working. Uh, however, the speed is picking up again, thank you God. Um, I feel blessed for everything that I have. You know, you lose something and it makes you appreciate uh, the things that you do have in your life. And I do appreciate my family, my brother, my friends, and you guys, my brothers and sisters in my community. You know, um, this is moving into the last thing I want to discuss here. Howler Mouse um, made a video uh, a while back where he was looking back on our community and on comic books. I know Dawkin Howlett, Chris made a reply, uh, Kirsten Baum, uh, who Scott, also made a reply, and I wanted to touch on that uh, a bit myself, you know, um, I know I've said this a million times before, but I will say it again, and, uh, cause you never know, some people maybe didn't watch my older videos anyway, um, as a kid growing up, you know, um, I wasn't really, uh, I was a very quiet kid, very quiet uh, guy, I never really, I had a small um, group of friends, and uh, for the most part, I was mute. Uh, a lot of people didn't think I spoke English. That's how quiet I was. That tells you something. So, um, and I hate, I didn't like reading. I hated reading, as a matter of fact. Uh, I was more um, advanced in math. Uh, that changed when I started reading comic books. Uh, I'm not saying my math went down. My math stayed pretty advanced. Um, but my reading went up as well, and I started to enjoy reading. I started to enjoy doing a lot of things. Unfortunately though, um, my friends never really were into comics. I remember in seventh grade I was buying uh, Superman, I was buying some back issues and a few of my friends had Spawn. I used to have a Spawn number seven here. I, I saw that one of my friends had another one of my friends had Spawn 13 I want to say. The one with Spawn was, it looks like he was shot on the cover. Uh, so we would exchange, like I would let them read my comics and they would let me read theirs. Uh, so that was how Spawn was actually introduced to me, and I liked Spawn, but at the time, my mind was one track. It was Superman, everything, and nothing else. If it didn't have Superman in it, I really wasn't interested. That was back in the day. That's why I got into Justice League, and whenever Superman guest starred in a comic book, that comic was mine. Uh, I remember there was a No Man's Land in Batman where Superman guest starred. I have that... Um, I believe it's in the bottom box, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I got guest appearances by Superman. It had to have Superman or I wasn't interested, which is why I didn't start collecting Spawn. Now, looking back, uh, I collect a bunch of comic books now uh, from vast uh, companies and um, vast variety, uh, but as a kid growing up, I was alone. None of my friends, after like 6th, 7th grade high school, nobody read comic books. Nobody was interested. Everybody was interested in magic cards and Yu-Gi-Oh!, not much Yu-Gi-Oh, more magic cards, and, you know, they were into um, stuff like that. Uh, so, really, I, I stood alone with comic books. Uh, my high school actually had an um, animal lab, and I used to go there all the time. 
that was where I spent my lunch period. Pfft, who eats lunch? So I used to go to the animal lab and I used to work there um, taking care of the animals and stuff. And then after I took care of the animals, I'd have a comic book in my book bag. I would sit down, uh, probably have the, steak, the, the snake we had around my neck, and I'd be reading a comic book. That was just uh, the way... I was. I was very laid back. I was very cool. Even in high school, I was pretty quiet. I was a pretty quiet guy. Um, never had a community, though. There was never a community or a group of friends where I could sit down and discuss comic books and talk about things I liked, things I hated, the artwork. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted to know about it. They're comic books. That's what they would say. They're just comic books. Then I... My, me and my brother created our group site on YouTube. My brother factioned off into his own site where he does music and video games and everything. And everybody on the group site asked me, when are you going to make a, a page? And I did. And lo and behold, there are other comic reviewers out there. And I don't just mean Pete's Basement. There were other comic reviewers out there. And from one, I met two. From two, I met millions. From millions, I, you know, I, some of my friends from Brooklyn Boys who like comic books made their own new channels and started doing comic reviews. And our community has really grown and we're really strong. And uh, I am appreciative now. I mean, I know I would have loved to have a community when I was a kid, especially. It would have um, been great to have somebody to talk to. But now there are so many people out there. And, you know... Uh, I agree with what Howler Mouse says, you know, you look at a comic book from back in the day and it brings back a memory. Like, I remember my aunt had passed away and I had bought, uh, I forgot what Superman comic it was, but I believe it was the 1990s where uh, it was Superman versus Brainiac and it was the Dead Again saga and I had gotten the whole run of that and um, I remember when my parents went uh, to the funeral uh, I, I I couldn't go because it, um, my, the death kind of hit me a bit hard, so I stayed home. And I remember I was reading that series, and um, it, it every comic book has a story, and not just a story on the inside. I agree. Every comic tells a story about our lives and about where we've been, where we've come from, and where we are today. Um, I feel blessed to have every single comic reviewer in this community you know we all talk amongst each other we all give each other stuff uh, we trade each other stuff we give each other advice we tell each other what comics are really good what comics aren't um, you know I have the podcast now where I get a lot of you guys that come on and we all talk amongst each other and uh, my goal is I would love to bring the comic community close closer than just you know we work our individual sites Lord knows the gaming community, the let's the well that's the let's play community, the um, the um, voice recording community. Everybody has their little click, and we have our 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 group, and we're united. And I know anybody does anything, to, anybody causes trouble on one person's site, we'll all come to um, to the defense. But uh, I'm working on an idea. Uh, I don't want to say it now because it's uh, in the making. But I've been talking to. Cody and I've been talking to Spidey. Sorry, Spidey, I don't know if it's okay to say your name yet. And uh, we're working on an idea, and if it does happen, uh, I will come back and let you guys know about it and what we're planning to do and who I would like to be on board at the beginning and as we go on, whom I'm hoping to get on board. But that's beside the point. My goal is I want to bring us close. We are close, so how much closer can we actually be? And I actually have a pretty good idea how, how we can get a bit closer and work together as a our community is just amazing you know I haven't met a reviewer yet that you know you could say oh this guy's competing or this guy's doing it for the money no we do it because we love it this is what we are we are comic book nerds and if you like us awesome more power to you if you hate us if you ridicule us then that's a different story then you better watch out when you leave comments but um no, we just, it's a very special community. I think that we have one of the most special communities because there's so many things involved with comic books. It's not just books. It's emotions. It's memories. It's our past. It's how we, were, how we grew up. And it's what helped mold us into the people we are today. And um, I believe our community is great, and I know our community is going to just keep growing. I hope it keeps growing. And I know as time goes on, we're all going to grow closer. Because when I started on here, all the comic reviewers were 
there, you know, they had three people that talked to each other, two people. But now I've noticed that the full, that everybody's coming full circle and everybody's connected with everybody else now. And that's great because that's what we need. We need to stand united as a comic community. And I hope one day, you know, I'm a very quiet viewer. I, sometimes I don't comment because I feel like I'll be saying the same comment over and over again. You know, awesome this <clears throat> and awesome that. So, um, but I watch everyone's videos. Everybody I'm subscribed to, guys, I watch your videos. Um, I haven't really posted much. I haven't posted many comments on Scott's page or Howler Mouse's page. But I love watching your videos, guys. And I know we really don't talk much. Um, like, Doc and Howler and me, I've talked to him a lot, Chris. And me and Tox, uh, Cody, we talk every night. And whenever Spidey comes on, we throw him into the call. Same thing with Mel, the X-Men 14. So, um... I know I'm not close with all of you guys yet, and I hope one day I can get closer with you guys and we can, like, have a conversation. Um, like, um, I feel like, um, how do I explain this, jeez. Uh, I, I know I've, that I, there are certain people that I don't comment on much, and, you know, we don't really talk back and forth, but I'm hoping to change that, especially in the coming year. I have big plans and big ideas. Uh, not just for my channel, but for um, the comic community in the coming year. And uh, I'm hoping that I get a lot of you guys on board or interested in this idea. I know Comic Noob has an idea, and he wants me to work with him on it. And uh, I'm for that, provided my schedule stays free. But, like I said, I have my own idea as well, and I'm hoping that works. Now, I don't know how, how much time I've just been wasting, so I'm going to leave it at this. Our comic community is a very special and unique community, and I... You know, being part of this community, it means the world to me and it makes me feel like there's a place in the world where I belong, especially when everything goes wrong in my life, especially what's been going on the past two weeks. I feel like at least there's some place I belong. There's something that I'm doing that's helping somebody else on the other end of that camera that's watching this video or I'm doing something that other people find entertaining, which is the Spider-Man Superboy show or anything else that I do that's entertaining. So to know that I'm making a difference or that I'm doing something for somebody else makes me feel good and it makes me feel like I have something that I'm doing in a, in a community that I belong to and like I said, our community is just the best out there. I can't see myself in any other community that's quite as awesome as ours and I feel blessed to be in it and I am planning to do a holiday tribute video but I'm probably going to be saying the exact same stuff I'm saying now with a couple of added on things. But um, also, you guys that watch our videos, you mean the world to us, too. And I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for everybody who makes comic reviews and comic video-related things. So, you guys mean the world to us, too. But we have a very unique community. And I think every single person I've met that does comic reviews that's in this comic community is just... They're awesome people, and they're great people. And I would absolutely say recommend seeing all of them and commenting on all of our videos because... What I don't do, somebody else will do. And we're all nice. None of us are going to push you guys away. If you guys have questions, you know you can message us. And I've been away for a while, but I will get back to you guys that have sent me messages. I got a few. And uh, everybody else, we are very warm people. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're not, um, we're not going to bite you. <laughs> so with that, guys, um, that's about it. I hope you guys have a, are having a happy holidays. Uh, I will be doing a video, maybe one or two, before the holidays, uh, provided I have the time, because this is the last week of work for me, and we have a play that we're putting on at my school this Friday, so I might be working on that a bit, but hopefully I will have time to make a video or two. We have the room decked out. I'll do a video on that probably closer to Christmas for you guys to see, um, and we also just got our Christmas tree today, so I'm very excited about that, decorating and whatnot, the tree. So guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Sorry I've been gone for a week, but I'm back. And I'm, I'm doing better, a lot better. So I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Hopefully my comics will be coming tomorrow and I'll have a video for you by the middle of the week with the comic review. Alright guys, catch you soon and take care.